The Drop is a new comedy that stars Jermaine Fowler. I think he's been funny in a couple of stuff. I really like him in Sorry to Bother You. Had a really big push in Coming to America since he played the son of royalty. Mm -hmm. Uh, But you also had someone who I think you really enjoy, Anna Conkle, who has been in a couple of uh, good indie movies you've shouted out. Pen 15? Yeah, I mean... Solid stuff. She, she shows up. She shows up in small roles and some interesting stuff. Obviously, the biggest thing that she's known for is Pen Fifteen over on Hulu as well, uh, which she co-created and is hilarious in. Um, but this is like a more interesting, deeper role for her as well. And I thought she was pr- uh, pretty good in it. It's also uh, interesting to see Jermaine Fowler, somebody who. Yeah, he has those like more out and out comedies, the coming to America stuff and uh, things like that. But he's a guy who's been in some really interesting stuff. He has a small role in Judas and the Black Messiah. I really mm-hmm. love his part in Sorry to Bother You. Like he's a guy who seriously, definitely seems interested in like interesting movies. Um, and I think he also is quite interesting and like pretty nuanced in his portrayal here of this like... Uh, man in a couple who is having this sort of like existential crisis after his wife drops a baby. <laughs> Cause he really wants to have a child. She's kind of been pushing it off. So when you have an incident like that and the way they play it off in the movie, you can see it in the trailer as well. It's this like, it, it's that force majeure moment. There's also mm-hmm. been series about this, like the slap. I don't know if you remember that one where yeah, slap. someone slaps a kid so nobody knows what to do at the party. It's one of those yep. moments. But like, what do you really do when you drop a baby? Especially when you're seeing it and can assess the situation for what it is. Was there really a be there? Was the dropping on accident? Could it have been on purpose? Do you continue <laughs> wanting to have a child when someone, you know? The one who's going to carry the baby can't carry the right. baby. Uh, I, I really like a lot of the jokes in the movie, a lot of the performances, and really the premise. It definitely was going to get mixed reviews regardless of, because it's a story about dropping a baby. A lot of it is yeah. very dry humor. Uh, to me, streaming is a perfect place for that. Um, I would give it a shot if the premise intrigues you or if any of these performers intrigue you, because like Jillian Bell's doing her thing in there as well. You have a lot of performers yeah. who are going off of each other because they're on this vacation. Um but as far as cringe comedies go, I, I think they've made the smarter decision having this be a streaming release than having it be a theatrical one. Yeah, I mean, I think I wish the jokes were a little bit sharper or maybe the characterizations were a little bit sharper because it's like it's it's amusing, but it's never like hysterical or hilarious. Right. And yeah. while it wants to go for that kind of force majeure, uncomfortable couple situation, it doesn't necessarily mine as deeply as a film like that or as a film that we talked about in our Sundance stuff uh you hurt my feelings i feel like it like it's, it's interesting yeah. but it's it's definitely like the made for streaming version of a film like that it's decently entertaining they wrote the premise. But maybe it's everything too. else on the fly <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs>